So the next wine we're going to show you is uh, another uh, specialty wine. And I should mention those two you just tried are small production wines. We only make uh, 50 cases of each of those. Wow. Um, and that's, again, typical for us where we're going to show you uh, variety, um, but it's small quantities that we're producing. This is another one that falls into that category. This is called Vintner Select. And Vintner Select we started making in 2005. And it's uh, more of a New World style Pinot Noir. What's wow. different about it is what we will do is we'll start out in all new oak for the first 11 months. Then at the end of 11 months, taste each barrel. And we only do five barrels of this. Um, taste each barrel, decide whether or not we think that uh, in that particular vintage year, any of the, that juice can be exposed to um, another hit of brand new oak. And in 14, because it was warm and it had brought the fruit forward in the wine, we really felt that three of the five barrels here could be exposed to more oak. So we took the uh, juice that was in those brand new oak barrels, in three of them, moved them to a second set of brand new oak barrels, and continue, to continue the aging for another seven months. And then at the end, we take all five barrels, put them together, and we end up with what we call Vintner Select. Um, it's a, as I say, a new world style Pinot that's a little bit bigger in stature uh, than your average uh, Oregon Pinot Noir. From a food pairing standpoint, this is a wine that um, would definitely fall in the category of something that you could pair with, uh, with beef, a nice steak, ideally. Uh, if you could do it, I would lay this wine down at least five years before you drink it. Wow. Sweet spot, probably between five and ten years out on this particular wine. Barrel making and, and coopers are artists. And so the roasting of each one of those barrels and uh, where those barrels come from are all different. It's impossible to replicate a barrel. Uh, and so. Uh, you may have a heavy toast barrel, medium toast barrel, some of them might be fine grain barrels, some of them may have toasted heads, which are the ends of the barrels. Um, we're trying to find kind of a big vintage uh, or big expression of fruit uh, that's going to be able to handle the oak better. Uh, and in this particular year, uh, we had five different coopers and that adds some variety to the mix too. Wow. And uh, so that is probably what contributed to the fact that we end up uh, having three of those barrels go forward and and the other two stayed in the original new oak barrel that they were in and it's again a judgment that we make based upon flavor and uh, so that's the really kind of beautiful subjective part of this business is is uh, every every barrel is going to age a little differently and and the decisions we make around who goes forward f with more oak on it um, is going to be different every single year wow. one of the cool things is we talk in terms of uh, with wine we talk in terms of terroir the concept of terroir also carries into barrels um, because where that oak comes from, uh, you may have one forest compared to another forest compared to another forest. Those, bar those barrels coming out of each of those forests are going to be different and it ties back once again to the terroir.